42 minutes after 7 o'clock, now that younger people are able to start receiving the vaccine today at the Regency and Gateway Mall vaccination sites, we're talking about teachers and law enforcement who are 50 or, or older, we want to make sure that you know that certain people with pre-existing medical conditions are also now eligible to get the shot regardless of their age, but not at either of those sites. Dr. Pauline Roll is the medical director of the Duval County Health Department and joins us via Zoom this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. So, Dr. Roll, this information actually came out late Friday afternoon from the governor's office, but a lot of people really honestly might have missed it, which is why I thought it's so important to have you on so you could explain. And the reason I say that is because even though this information came out last Friday, I received two emails from local viewers, both of whom have Peter and Marianne, both of whom who have pre-existing conditions, who are complaining about the fact that they can't get vaccinated. And the reality is now they can. Would you explain what kind of medical condition considers someone extremely vulnerable so that they could get the vaccine now? And so the governor's executive order uh, was it became effective today regarding that. And so extremely vulnerable people will be deemed by their medical provider to be extremely vulnerable. Uh, we expect there will be additional guidance uh, this week from the state regarding particular illnesses. But for example, someone who is on a dialysis, what we're talking about are folks who are likely to die if they get COVID or have bad outcomes, be hospitalized on event, things of that nature. So folks with, um, uh, for instance, uh, so I'm sorry, <laughs> people who have who are on dialysis, people who have uh, who are just medically fa fragile, um, for example, maybe immunocompromised, um, those folks are extremely vulnerable. Again, those categories of folks who, if they had COVID, might be likely to have a poor outcome or even it may result in death. So as an example for Peter, who is is could be watching here this morning, who reached out to us on Sunday, he has cystic fibrosis. Might that be a condition that would make him eligible? Yes, certainly, um, because if he got COVID, he might not survive it or he might have uh, a poor outcome or made to be on a vent as a result of getting COVID. And so folks like him, we're not talking about people who have a broken arm or folks who might have recently had pneumonia. Those are not the folks we're talking about. We're talking about people who actually have medical conditions that they see a physician for regularly or maybe even seeing a specialist for. And so those are the people that we're talking about who will be eligible for this vaccine. And so we want people to understand that because what we don't want is for folks to try and obtain a medical clearance from their physician and circumvent the system and prevent others who are in this category from getting the vaccine because, again, supply is limited at this point. Okay, so then how, how would this work? I know that the, uh, the, the Department of Health actually posted yesterday on Twitter this form that it's going to send out to physicians that they would have to fill out, and then presumably the person with, who's extremely vulnerable would then take this uh, so that they could get the vaccine? Yes, and so they will have the physician order and the, and with the executive order, nurse practitioners and pharmacists are now eligible to provide the vaccine to folks who are extremely vulnerable. Again, um, right now at our sites, we don't they're not staffed by physicians, nurse practitioners or pharmacists. And so hence the reason why folks were a little frustrated um, and the executive order just um, became active today. And so these a lot of these folks will get vaccinated through their local pharmacy. And I think that this is part of the confusion because we all heard about this late Friday and there wasn't any indication from the governor governor's office when this would take effect and now we're learning that it's today. So so and I want to be clear here. So can someone who's extremely vulnerable uh, receives this note from their doctor's office as an example, they can't then get an appointment at Regency as an example or, or, or walk up to the federal vaccination site at Gateway Mall or the satellite offices to get the vaccine? Not at this time. Uh, we're hopeful in the future we may be able to expand those offerings, but right now those sites are dedicated to those 65 and older healthcare workers, um, and, and they're not focused on those who are extremely vulnerable. Again, uh, it requires an added level of, I guess, security, if you will. And also, again, we're not staffing those sites with nurse practitioners, pharmacists, or physicians. And those are the folks who will be re responsible for those extremely vulnerable populations. Prior to now, the hospitals were the ones who had the authority to vaccinate those folks. But, you know, the hospitals have limited capacity as well. And again, with, with the demand outpacing the supply, we're looking to add other venues for people to be vaccinated. And so should they, if someone considers themselves being extremely vulnerable, should they call their doctor and get guidance from their doctor? Absolutely. Yes, they must. They must.
Dr. Roll, thank you for physician your, who will decide. Uh, the physician will decide, and that's an important note there. Dr. Roll, thank you. There is so much for us to talk about. I want to have you back on also when we know a little bit more information about what cons what's considered extremely vulnerable, as this is literally ever-changing by day, and we hope to lear certainly learn more uh, next uh, in the next day or so, in fact. Thank you for your time this morning. You're welcome. No problem. Have a great day. And so we also want to just remind you, we did check with Walmart to see if medically vulnerable people can get the shot right now at their pharmacies. A spokesperson told me, in fact, just yesterday afternoon, that we are in the process of updating our internal processes and the scheduling system to reflect new eligibility, which basically means not yet. Publix, however, said that it will vaccinate medically vulnerable people who are under and over 65. A spokesperson says those individuals need, need only communicate that they have a qualifying condition as determined by a doctor in order to receive the vaccine. Publix is not asking for documentation at this time. However, given what we just heard from Dr. Roll, that may change, so keep that in mind.